Hi everyone, welcome to my presentations. Um, the title of my presentations will be Utilizing MAVR in Learning English and ESL Low Achievers Context. Okay. Um, by the way, my name is Ilyana Jaludin and I'm representing Malaysian English Language Teaching Associations, MELTA. Okay. Um, before I start my presentations, let me introduce first the term in the title. Just briefly, okay, MAVR um, represent um, mobile augmented visual reality. Okay, so this is um, kind of apps okay, used to learn English vocabulary for ESL low achievers. Right. So my presentation will center around these four topics. Okay, I will introduce first briefly about um, Malaysian education systems and the problems that we have in learning English language. Okay? And then I will move on to the matters in which I will show you um, how MAVR has been used, okay? what is MB, uh, MAVR, okay? and the methods, the research design that uh, been used for this study as well. Okay? And um, after that, Findings from these uh, studies will be presented and followed by the conclusions of the study. Right. Okay. So, um, basically, in Malaysia, okay, in Malaysia, English is compulsory. Okay. English is compulsory um, whether at primary and also secondary school level. Okay. Um, they must pass English language, right? And there are many, okay, there are many programs, there are many efforts actually been done by our Ministry of Education in order to improve not just BM or Malay language, but also English language. Okay? So one of the efforts been done by our Ministry of Education in improving English language learning at primary level is the introductions of what we call LINUS. Okay, so um, in the full term will be literacy and numeracy screening, right? It, it's kind of like remedial program which was introduced in 2012, right? So basically, this program, LINUS, okay, literacy and numeracy screening, basically it aims to identify learners who have literacy problems, okay? Uh, literacy problems in terms of reading, writing, and counting, okay? So, the, the learners at primary level will have to sit for a test, okay, and then based on that, the school will identify whether the child needs more help in terms of reading, writing, and counting or numeracy skills. Okay. So, via this program, Linus, okay, um, schools able to identify those who have literacy and numeracy problems. They um, are put in one class, okay, and they are given more or extra uh, assistance, okay, in order to help them to be able to read, write, okay, and speak in English and also BM, okay, or Malay language, right? Uh, part of languages, um, the program, the Linux program also focuses on maths or numeracy skills, okay. Even though this program has been introduced for like um, more than eight years, okay? Now, now it's 2023, so it has been how many years already, okay? Despite all this effort introduced by Ministry of our uh, Ministry of our Education, okay, the number of candidates, okay, with uh, below minimum con uh, competency continues to rise. Below minimum com uh, competency meaning that um, the uh, level of fail, okay, fail in English, um, BM and also maths continue to rise, especially English. Okay? Especially English. Um, so according to previous researchers, okay, they say that in order to improve improve second language learning in order to make sure that it is a successful learning the first thing that we have to start with is actually vocabulary knowledge 
Okay, and then according to Cameron, Harmon Wood, and Kaiser, okay, actually vocabulary knowledge is the critical tool for second language learners. Based on the vocabulary, then they can move on to master, or perhaps at least they can understand the language that they are learning. Okay. Right. Um, what happened in schools in Malaysia, okay, if we look back in uh, Malaysian school, okay, um, we do have textbook. And for this program, okay, Linux program, specific textbook been uh, prepared by the Ministry of Education for these learners. Okay. However, okay, however, despite all the textbook being prepared, okay, these teachers have to take their own initiative to enrich that learning materials. Okay. Why? Because um, these Linux learners, they need uh, more assistance, not just book, according to the teachers. Okay. So they need more visual, they need more um, activities in order to help this learner grasp the meaning of the words first. Okay. Before they are able to read, all right, they need to understand the meaning of the words. Therefore, the teacher create okay, a material such as flashcard, presentation slide, and an extra exercise to, to help these learners. Okay? Right. So, previous study found that previous study found that okay, uh, in previous study these teachers also highlighted that okay, they emphasize that okay we actually need assistance in terms of the teaching in terms of the learning materials it's not enough to provide textbook only to help this kind of learner okay this kind of learner we need extra materials okay linus uh, learners okay, those who join linus are considered as low achiever Okay, meaning they have problems in terms of literacy okay, um, and they are categorized as low achiever as well. Right? So to deal with this kind of learner, according to the teachers, we need to have more materials, specific materials that can actually promote fun learning experience, okay, help them understand better and they need more visuals. Right? Therefore, the teacher feel that, okay, felt that um, concepts in the form of computer-based learning is important and right? the visual the the, the um, tools electronic tools the equipments right might attract these learners to learn more okay and also the visual aids that being created using technologies might be able to help them understand the words in the textbook better Okay. So based on this, okay, based on these issues, right, um, we can see that augmented reality technologies, including visual realities, most probably able to help to improve the situations in terms of this vocabulary learning among these young learners, okay, or among these. Um, learners with learning difficulties is uh, and also low achiever, right? So, in these studies, okay, in these studies, um, we try to um, implement, we create, okay, we created first materials based on the syllabus, based on the curriculum by the ministry, okay, we create material first, right? It's more to visual to help the learners, this learners learner to learn English better. Okay, so basically let me introduce the research first. Okay, um, the research design is basically repeated measure experiment studies, okay, using uh, one-way repeated measure ANOVA, right? And now we aim basically to understand whether there was differences Okay, whether there was a difference in terms of their vocabulary size, right? After this program, augmented reality and also visual reality program, been used. Okay, so basically we measure with three points, uh, three time points. 
in before and then one month after and then again three months after the implementations of augmented reality so um, because we want to see the changes the development what happened when we use this kind of materials for this kind of learner okay so the intervention basically will be the MAVR okay the mobile augmented reality program right for the period of three months Okay, basically our role will be three months and then we measure we measure again and again okay so the things that we measure basically the vocabulary size the dependent variable okay while the within the subject um, factors will be the time right with three levels right three time points okay this is considered as level yeah okay now let me show you the materials first what do we use for this study okay so for these studies um we created two, um, not only really two, but basically um, there are four apps. Okay, four apps, and it is more like explorers based scavenger hunts. Okay, in which there are four stations. Okay, four apps that they have to use. Okay, so within these four apps, they or four stations, you want to call it a station. Okay, within these four stations, they have to. Um, Go through activities that help them understand words. Okay, so these are some of the um, the front cover of the apps that we created. Okay, so how does it work basically? Okay, there are there are um, three checkpoints. Okay, three checkpoints, and these are actually in the form of language games. Okay, so different from normal classroom and learning, rather than you're looking at the textbook alone, we make it like a game. Okay, we make it like a game, all right, in which they will able to explore the words, they will be able to play with the words, okay, rather than just reading on the textbook. Okay, so this is the process. Okay, this is the process, of course, for augmented reality, visual reality, we need marker. Okay, these are the marker actually, right, and then these are some of the preface or some of the photos from the uh, apps actually. Okay, so we use this to teach them vocabulary. The aim is vocabulary to help them understand the words being learned in the textbook. Okay, so um, as you can see from the photo, uh, they can explore. They will be in a room. Okay, we have two rooms: one computer lab, and the other one is their bedroom. Okay, so they have to solve the problem by exploring the room, try to find the object. Okay. Try to solve riddles, uh, and then we have certain questions that allow them to try and error. Okay, this object is what? Okay, and then they can even manipulate the object. They can explore the object to know what is that object actually. Okay, right. So this is um uh part of the module actually to help the teachers use uh the apps. Okay, so we give, we explain step by step uh, how to use it, okay, what you can use for, um, to, to carry out the activities in the classroom, okay. Now, uh, these are some of the photos, okay, some of the photos when I, uh, I my, and my friend, co-micro-researchers, okay, when we conducted this study at school, okay, these are primary learners, yeah, primary learners, um, standard uh, two and three okay so as you can see here in the photo they move a lot they don't just sit static in the classroom okay they will try they will do they will that they have to like explore to find or to solve the riddle okay? and they of course they have to scan okay they have to scan so you can see here one of the photos shows that the learners uh, uh, was actually using the um, Visual reality program. Okay. Uh, okay. So there are two uh, instruments that we use. Okay. Basically, it involves 45 students from Linux program year two. Okay. And then these students um, came from different school in Selangor rural area. Okay. So these these are rural area learners. Right, and then they have problem in terms of literacy. Okay, what do we use um, for this study to measure vocabulary? We use the British Picture Vocabulary Scales. 
Okay, uh, it's actually been produced by GL Education Group, which helped us to assess the child's receptive vocabulary level. Okay, it was easy using this, right? Uh, basically, um, researchers said a word for each question, and the students have to respond by selecting a picture from the four options given. It's like a book, actually. Okay. And the other one uh, that we use, okay, the one that you see just now, all right, uh, is the mobile apps, okay, the MAVR, right, and the uh, the name of the uh, apps is actually Hunting with a Language. So we conducted a lesson for six months with the students, okay, uh, and then for about three months, we really used that to help them understand vocabulary materials okay so these vocabulary materials actually been embedded with augmented reality and also visual reality okay so basically there are two focus of the apps okay one is to identify the vocabularies okay and the next one will be more difficult than the first one in which they have to explore the room okay and then try to find the object uh, the object actually is something that they have learned via the curriculum, right? Okay, now, so we move on to the findings. Okay, what do we find? Based on the finding, shows that, okay, right, like I say, there are three levels, time points, three time points within subject factors, pre, mid, and post. Okay, so the initial or just the overall impression, it shows that, uh, we can see that the size of each level or within uh, subject or factor, okay, is increasing. It shows trend of increasing vocabulary size at each time point. Okay, it increased over the course when the augmented reality program been used, okay, and been implemented, right? So uh, it increased from fifty to sixty-four to hundred and two, okay, right? Um, if you look at the profile plot as well, okay, so we, we generally can see how it increased, okay, how it increased uh, slowly from 50, 60, and then finally it jumped to 100, okay, jumped to 100, right. Um, to get a clearer picture, okay, to show um, more about the changes in vocabulary size over time, Okay, so we measure again. Okay, we measure to see the differences between the levels, right? And as you can see from the tab table, that's our within subject impacts. Okay, we can see that the vocabulary size was actually uh, statistically significantly different at different times. It is significant. Okay, and even the, the finding shows that. Um, from pre-intervention to one month shows significant increment and same thing from pre-intervention to post-intervention. Okay, so overall we can see there was a statistically significant differences between the time frame, the three time frames, right? Okay, so overall what we can conclude from the uh, from this study, okay, from this study. Um, Basically, it indicates that um, augmented reality and also visual re reality can be interactive learning tools. It can be, all right? It can be to assist slow learners' attention to participate. Once they are able to participate, because they are able to see the word, not just read, but they are able to see and they are able to manipulate the words. So therefore, they are able to learn successfully. Okay, as from the finding, you can see increment throughout the three time frames. Okay, and then finding shows increment in vocabulary size. Okay, throughout the six months, right, and it shows significant differences in terms of the score between the three phases. Okay, so these basically it give us the impression that technology actually it is possible to use technology to help this learner the special needs okay uh, learner with learning difficulties uh, and then we have low achiever for this study it will be low achiever from the linux program okay why because this is more to visual okay visual and it's it's um 
different from the normal classroom learning in which they have to play it. Okay, it is more to game based learning kind of learning. Okay, but we still control it by relating to the curriculum. Okay, right. So even though it gives the impression okay, good, we can use technology to assist this kind of learners and finding also shows increments in terms of the workplace size. There's still something that uh, lag, uh, which is efficacy aspect of using this AR and VR in learning. Okay, so this study don't really see at the teachers and learners readiness, their willingness to use AR in learning, in VR in learning. Okay, so uh, we did not look at this aspect, okay, the as efficacy aspect. Okay, but we look at the vocabulary science development, what happened to their vocabulary science de development over those three time frame, and it shows increment. So it gives us, um, like I mentioned just now, it gives us the impression it is possible. Okay, it is possible, just that we might need to include the aspect of efficacy, readiness, willingness to know more about the um, impact of this AR and VR in language learning. Okay, so with that, I end my presentation. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. And that will be my email address if you uh, need to ask anything. Okay, uh, just email me at iliana at ukm.edu.my. I, I, I'm a lecturer at University of Putra, Malaysia, actually. Okay, under the Faculty of Modern Languages and Communications. Right? So thank you so much uh, for listening to my presentation.